And welcome on a soggy night here at the Ramon Sanchez Pituan Stadium. My name is Derek Ray, and sitting alongside me in the commentary box, providing expert analysis, is Stuart Robson. And we're focusing on, technically speaking, one of the best leagues in the world. I'm talking, of course, about La Liga. It's Sevilla against Girona. Thanks, Derek, as always. This should be a good game. Great atmosphere inside the stadium. We've got two teams full of quality, some interesting matchups, and two coaches that want to play an attractive brand of football. What more could you ask for? And this is how Sevilla will line up. In goal, it's Marko Dimitrovic. Ivan Rakitic plays alongside Pap Gay in the centre of midfield. And in this tactical setup, they have just the one player in attack. And the starting 11 for Girona. Well, it can be seen as a very defensive shape. But if they have good athletes in midfield, which they have, who are ready to break forward as soon as possession is won, they can still pose a big threat today. that should tell us an awful lot and it's Sevilla who get the match started Lamela and he cuts in from the wing well flinging himself at it Going short. Well, so much to like about Alejandro Gomez. In your opinion, Stuart, what will he deliver in this game? Well, the best players can play in tight areas, and he can certainly play in tight areas, in and around the box. His creativity is excellent. Playing little one-twos, balls round the corner, linking up with other teammates, just to have that little bit of penetration. He's going to be key to breaking down this defence. Torres Marcos Acuna and Nesiri onto Rakitic and now passing it through and nothing positive comes of it unfortunately Christian Stuani and possession given away Gay. It's Torres now, and they continue to advance, and a lot of options here. Lamela, offensive Brazilians to shut them down. Riquelme. He has teammates around him. Romeu. Crossing opportunity. Well, it was a foul, but good use of advantage by the referee. Using his strength to hold on to the ball and wait for teammates to arrive. Can they convert? And a goal to open the scoring. No wonder they're celebrating.
Well, let's see it again because the delivery is absolutely perfect. Hard and low, just inviting someone to run onto it. And then the finish is fairly simple in the end. That's a good goal. again with the scoreline standing at 1-0 great effort to keep that one in play take some progress with the ball at his feet could cross it in here there Gonzalo Montiel well inching towards half time and probably fair to say the fans were hoping for a little bit better than this Stuart your thoughts well I've been a little disappointed with their attacking play it's all been a bit too slow if they can pass it into their front areas with more quality switch play quicker and be more positive in 1v1 situations I think they'll get back into this Yusuf and Nesiri. A very timely interception. And he has options available. Martin. He takes aim. And there it is! A two-goal cushion now. And they just need to keep the concentration. Well, as you can see, he hits this with so much power, but just look at the follow-through. So athletic. That's a dynamic strike. So back underway with the lead standing at 2-0. Rakitic on to Gomez and Nesiri Torres Lamela with it Lamela well, shielding the ball admirably And the half-time whistle is sounded. That is going to be all for the first 45 here at the Estadio Ramon sanchez Pituan. Well, Eric Lamela has had virtually nothing to say for himself up to this point. And Stuart, I'm not sure we were predicting that. Well, he has to find space in more dangerous areas. He's such a good player around the box, but today he's struggled to get on the ball. And that's one of the reasons they're losing here. Really looking forward to this one. As Sevilla... So back underway here into the second half. Stuffing out the danger. Torres. Can they do something positive on the counter-attack? Well, so many possibilities, but it didn't happen for them. Stuani! And foiled only by the crossbar. Oh, super header, but the goalkeeper was up to the task.
taken short. Can he put it in? Really sound goalkeeping. Well, that had to be a goal, didn't it? What a stop that is. Can someone get on the end of this? Attending to his defensive chores. Viktor Tsigankov. Christia in position. An interceptor there. Romeo and making headway but stamp defending what it mattered Papge oh a lovely ball well the supporters think it's on and no nonsense defensive clearance now let's see what they can do here this might be the perfect counter-attacking opportunity all hands on deck and a long way out here nicely saved well both teams have had substitutes swarming up and now both will rely on their respective benches Now the delivery, and clears his lines. And there's the feed into the box. Well, he wasn't messing around with the clearance. And strong play here. Oh, showing excellent vision, and nothing positive comes of it, unfortunately. Gomez Lucas Ocampos and this would reduce the deficit well he stumped it out of there without much fuss Lamela it's a perfect challenge breaking at pace Christian Estuani. Well, that is how to nullify the opposition. Well, approaching full time, and this is wearing the look of Mission Impossible for the home side, Stuart. Well, I think they've been a bit unlucky today. They certainly haven't been two goals worse than their opponents, but in key moments, they've just been found wanting, particularly defensively. Well, not so fast. The referee says penalty and maybe a late glimmer of hope for them. Can they get one back? And he finds the net! No difficulties in counter! Well, let's look at that again. The goalkeeper does everything right. He chooses the right way, he goes slightly early, but he can't do anything about it. It's right into that bottom corner. The perfect penalty. Back underway. Intriguing contest this, given the 2-1 scoreline. And the referee blows his whistle for full time. No joy for Sevilla and their fans. 
No points either. Well, Derek, not quite good enough today. Yes, they only lost by one goal, but I never felt they were in control of the game. A frustrating day all round for the coach to think about for the next time. Well, this man has given us plenty of reasons to dwell on his performance, hasn't he, Stuart? Well, he scored a good goal, he hit the woodwork and was a constant threat. So overall, he should be really pleased with his display today.